So far this year we've created some booming tactics, specifically the Stinger Zio and the Zio Remix. But the burning question is, which one is better? Let's find out. What's up everyone, hope this finds you well. So today I'm going to take two tactics that I've built, the Stinger Zero, the Zero Remix, both of them absolute killers with the right team, and we're going to go head to head and we'll see which of the two is actually the stronger tactic. So first up, the Stinger Zero tactic. Now they're both the same shape, which is why I'm comparing them both. If it was a two different shapes, it'd be a bit of a stupid argument, but they're both 4 3 one, two variations. So with Stinger Zero, I tested it with Lazio and a couple of other teams with Lazio, in that table there, you can see they won 28, they drew 8, losing 2, and it's got 105 goals, conceding 37, 92 points. Booming. Now, the other teams I tested it with, because I like to test smaller teams as well, one of them's Forest Green, which is interesting, because we use Forest Green for Zio as well. So that's a good little barometer first up. Let's get to Forest Green. Beautiful freeze frame there. You can see there, Forest Green finished top of the league, 133. 60 goal difference, 103 points with Goal Machine. So, what about the Zio Remix? Also called the 100 tactic for good reason. We did it with Inter, so they're a little bit better than Lazio, so bear that in mind. But they took the Serie A title with 100 points with a goal difference of plus 100. Ridiculous, they scored so many goals. In fact, let's have a little look in more detail. Just goals all over the place. Now on the face of it, it looks like a stronger tactic. How did it fare with Forest Green? Which is what we use for Stinger Zero as well. Interesting. A booming season for Forest Green. They won the league again, just like the Stinger Zero tactic. But the Zero remix looks more successful, only losing the three games. 111 points, scoring 117 goals. I basically promoted it as the 100 tactic for a reason. You're guaranteed to get goals and points. So, bearing in mind that that tactic there was kind of... The Stinger Zero tactic, but tweaked here and there. How are they going to do head to head, face to face? We're going to use versus mode, head to head. We're going to use the same teams against each other, which you can do in versus mode. Then I'm going to know, right? We'll do two legs, make it home and away, make it fair. Which is the best of these two bad boy tactics? I should mention the workaround to let your team play against each other. Start a new game, whichever team you want to be. So I've started the new game as Inter. I've loaded the tactic in. There it is. So I'll go up to players and I'll put export team. And I'll just call it Inter version 2. And now I'll be able to select that in versus mode, even though it's exactly the same squad as the Inter squad. There you have it. Inter 1 and Inter 2. Same squads. So Inter version 1 will be Stinger Zero. So we'll go to Stinger Zero. Let's get it in. In it goes. That is Stinger Zero. We're going to use exactly the same start in the 11s as well. So we'll get to that now. That's the 11 we're going to use. Martinez, Zeko, Correa, Brozovic, Hakan, Barella, Dumfries, Skrinia, Bastoni, DeMarco and Handanovic. You don't get Gorsons, for example, because he's registered. They're still on loan from Atalanta, so he's back there. But that's Stinger Zero, 4 3 one, two. And this is the Zero Remix team. Exactly the same start in the 11. Dzeko changes to a pressing forward. You've got Barella in as a second boxer box midfielder. And Denzel Dumfries changes from a uh, wing back to an inverted wing back so little tweaks there some little tweaks down the side as well but we'll put them side to side now so you can see in more detail there are the teams side by side you can see how similar they are the shape is exactly the same 4-3-1-2 my favorite shape this year we'll start at the back keep doing the same thing your left wing backs doing the same we have one ball playing defender in stinger zero we have two in the zero remix we've got a wing back on support Versus an inverted wing back on attack, so that's going to be dead interesting to see the difference there. In midfield, we have the DLP box to box midfielder combo, but we lose the Mazala attacking. We revert to a box to box midfielder for a Zero remix. Up front, your striking options, advanced forward and shadow striker are the same. We have a target forward dropping off in Stinger Zero. We've got a pressing forward pushing on in Zero remix. So this is going to be dead interesting to see which of these two teams that are identical is going to triumph over two legs. What do you reckon? I'm just changing skin to Tato so we can have a look at the heat map during the match to see where the gaps may or may not be. So here we go, no opposition instructions, I'll just let it flow. There is Inter version 1, and I'm looking at him, I've no idea which is which, but we'll guess Inter 2122 is the Zio remix. And look at those random face packs. So we're underway, so Stinger Zio, the original, are playing in white, and the Zio remix are playing in blue when we get to the highlights. 
Now, this is why I imagine it's like watching your two kids play for two different teams. It's so odd. Now, the Remix boys have a free kick. They might, I think they might be the favourites, even though I said Stingers here originally. Hakan's going to step up and take just over the bar. But so far, it's super tight. If you look at the stats in the top corner, pretty much 50-50. Same amount of shots each. Dead interesting. Playing out from the back, the original Stingers here is Hakan to Bastoni. Back to Handanovic. You can see the high press from the Zio remix. Trying to play the way through, and they're doing it really well, to be fair. Toro, there's the runner. Then Zheko plays it to Barella running through, and Barella puts the original Stinger Zio into the lead, which is interesting because he's playing as that Mazala, and Zheko is playing as the drop off striker. He was the man who played the through ball there as DeMarco to Lotoro. Now there's Correa. Now look how deep Zheko is, and he plays the through ball to the onrushing Barella. Interesting. 1 0 to Stinger Zio. Now, what is interesting is, now remember, Stinger Zio are the home team. There they are, but the press from Zio Remix has pushed them back, and they're basically playing on the counter-attack. If you look at the stats there, it's pretty much 50-50, but the Remix boys have had more shots. They're just cranking up the pressure that little bit. Pass is completed exactly the same. More tackles won by Stinger Zio. Dead interesting. There's more headers as well. Maybe that's the thing of Sheko dropping off. Interesting. Corner danger, Hakan takes, and it's a second for Zio. Bastoni puts it in. They're playing more on the counter, on the break here, but they are doing the new blood, the new inter. 2-0, Hakan takes the corner, and Bastoni, marked by Bastoni, which is brilliant, puts it in. Still that heat map's the same. Still remix push, but still Stinger Zio sit back that little bit further. Screen now to Barella, Dzeko higher up than the other Dzeko, remember? Barella to Correa, it's nice football, Brozovic, Martinez, that is a great goal from Remix, and that's the way I like them to play, in the middle, short, simple passing, game on, 2-1, but look at this, so the play, playing it really narrow, super slick, first time passing, Barella to Correa, little through ball to Brozovic, through to Matt, oh, it's just a lovely goal. Half-time, 2-1. They probably just about deserve it, but Zero Remix, you can see the XG. They are having the better of it, but they are behind. Maybe it's a case of home advantage for Stinger Zero. We'll see, second half. We're at the 70th minute mark now, and the heat map's remained pretty consistent throughout with Zero pushing on. But they have got another corner, the originals. Bastoni, not this time. Could it be a counter for Remix? Here's Correa from Shadow Striker. Breaking forward, DiMarco. And jeko has got a bit of space here. He's got men in the box. Dzeko holds it. Across, Correa, big save from Handanovic, it's still 2-1. Free kick right on the edge of the box for original Stinger Zio. DiMarco, he likes this, and that is the third. Wow. Wow, you know when you get a free kick in that area, nine times out of ten, that's hitting the back of the net. And if you look at the statistics so far, it's probably a little bit against the run of play, you know. Seven shots for five, but the remix with 14 and six, but they're just not putting the chances away. Story on my draft life, that. It is 3-1, but they do have a corner now. Wojeko, Carnage in there, and Brozovic misses another. Pressure from Remix, but it is a free kick to the originals. Brozovic, oh, what a header. And unbelievably, it's 4-1 to Stinger Zio, the original, my first born. He's 4-1 up against the Remix. And when I show you these stats here, look at the state of this. Too many chances missed by the Remix. They really need to go back. There is a second leg, remember, so is it home advantage? We're soon to find out. It's cleared by hand down. Danovich version 1. Re oh, Dzeko to Lotoro. 5. Oh, it's pulled back from offside. Oh, they got lucky there. Dzeko's there to target forward. Oh, Dzeko's a target forward has been more successful than Dzeko as a pressing forward. Winning them flicks for midfield runners. That is dead interesting. But Remix do have the ball now. Giving away again though. This could be a killer. It's Correa. It's a big save. It remains 4-1. They will feel slightly hard done by, but if you don't take your chances, and that is 4-1 going into the second leg. So just to confuse you, now the Remix boys are in white and Zinger Zio original are in blue. And there's a highlight straight away, there's one minute gone. So this is Zio Remix on the ball in white. They've got a three goal deficit to claw back here. Here's Barella, it's a great ball, it's Dzeko, the pressing forward version and a great last ditch tackle from DiMarco. Zio Remix has came out of the blocks here. Here's DiMarco to Martinez, they've got... It's only four minutes gone. It's the second highlight. Barella causing havoc. Martinez hits. Another save. Handanovic. It's highlight after highlight here. Here's Stinger Zio trying to get back into the game with Dumfries as a wing back on attack. Drive to the baseline. There he's crosses and it's smashed clear. Comes back to DiMarco. Pressure non stop now from Stinger Zio trying to get another. Dumfries as the wing back. Lovely through ball. Lotoro puts it in. Another goal for Stinger Zio original. It's 5 1 on aggregate now. 
Wow. The heat map shows a similar pattern to the last game where Remix are pressing, but they just can't get this goal. As they push forward now, Martinez, there's an error from Skrinia and they are back in the game. It's 1-1. They do deserve that. So the younger sibling is back in the game. Stats are all for zero Remix at the minute. Seven shots, five on target. They are dominating, but it's still only 1-1. But here's Barella and DiMarco there might have just gained the game away. As we wait, it is a red card for DiMarco now then. You've got to believe that's going to let Zio back into it. Both teams have hard tackling on, so I'm not going to take that off. This is what can happen quite often in the match. Stinger Zio still dropping deep. And you know what? Zio Remix can't break them down here. As this is Stinger Zio down to 10 men. Now Bastoni is going to get his second yellow. So we're back down to 10. It's ideal, really, for a game of, to make it fair so we actually know which is which. But it's now 10v10. In both cases, to keep them still similar. Identical almost. I've took the central midfielder off and put him at centre back. So we're both now playing a 4 2 1 2. Here is a free kick. It's Hakan on the edge. 1 1 in the match. 2 5 on aggregate. He's taken a while. He steps up. It's a big save. Barella back to Hakan. Pressure still on. Saved again. It's half time. And Zio remix yet again. More chances. XG higher. They just can't put it in the back of the net. Why is that? It's got me thinking now. Why is that? Tempo is pretty the same. In fact, let's have a look. So this is Zio Remix, and you can see down there they've got higher tempo, it's not crazy high. They are working the ball into the box, they're waiting for chances, shorter, interesting. Now, Stinger Zio, interestingly, Stinger Zio, tempo, slightly slower at standard. Maybe that could be a difference, maybe they're taking their time a little bit more in and around the box. Into the second half now, Zio are in white, they've got work to do, they've still got three goals to get back here. Interesting if they can do it, is the higher tempo thing. Is that the thing that's stopping them getting these goals? Ball over top, Jekyll's not going to catch that. And it's cleared by Stinger Zio original. But they have won it back with Correa. He drives into the box and he hits the post. <laughs> chance after chance for a Zio remix. It's given away though. Lotoro gets it back and he's pinged it in. It is 2-1. It's 2-6 on aggregate. Is the higher tempo thing. What is separating these two teams? Higher tempo. All the team take that into account. Even the back players look playing it in urgent fashion, but giving it away to Jekko, who finds Lotoro, who just smashes it, swangs it in, 2-1, wow. I mean, look at the match analysis of the XG there. Zero remix, completely dominant, but on the break, Stinger Zero, putting away the chances. Here comes another one, it looks like, Jekko to Correa. They are rampant at the minute. Barella lays it back to Damian, Lotoro Martinez back to Barella, and Correa puts it in, 3-1 now. To Stinger Zio, 7 2 on aggregate. Wow. As a reminder, in the test, Zio Remix did more points, more goals, better goal difference against the AI. But when it comes to head on head to head, they are struggling here big time. Down the line, this is done free. So he's an inverted wing back, but he's playing more traditional here. He crosses and Martinez gets one back for Zio Remix. It's going to be too little, too late. Free kick on the edge of the box. They've already pinged two of these away in this two legged counter. Hakan steps up. And oh, just wide. XG off the charts for Zio Remix yet again, but they're just not putting it away. And there it is. Inter, Neil Davidson. No, no, no. Inter, Stinger Zio, the original, the big brother of the two tactics, comes out on top. And you've got to say, 3-7 on the counter. Wow. So there you have it, crew. Stinger Zio triumph over its younger brother, Zio Remix, despite having less XG, less shots, less possession, just far more clinical. And the only thing I can think of is... Is the slightly lower tempo means the players were less rushed, waiting for better chances, and they pinged it in. That's given me food for thought now for sure.